Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, today we are going to be working on planting some soybeans. Uh, we've got the planter set up and ready. All we gotta do is start planting. So, let's go ahead and get that underway here. So, um, probably going to have some real videos, uh, not of farming, but, um, might be doing some videos on my truck here in the future, um, waiting on taxes to come back, and then I'm going to be doing some work to it, um, a couple of the things I won't be doing myself, I'll be taking it to the dealership for that. Um, I got to get it realigned. I have to get the tires balanced. So I'm going to be taking it to the dealership to get that done. And then I need to replace uh, both of the front brake rotors, uh, the passenger front brake caliper, and then the outer passenger front uh, CV boot, I believe, needs to be replaced. I have to get under there and look at it again. Um, the last time I looked under there, I did notice a little bit of grease, so I'm not too sure if that boot's torn and needs to be replaced or not. Um, but I'm going to do that if it needs it. And then I also had to buy two new mud flaps because um, I lost one somehow at some point in time. And then uh, the other one was not staying on correctly because the screws weren't holding anymore plus it's just a little bit messed up so um, I went and bought two new rear ones and then uh, I gotta get those put on might be putting wheel spacers on it as well so um, I have those that a buddy of mine had given me off of his truck that got wrecked so I might be putting those on mine and um, I also am planning on redoing all of the camo on the inside of the pickup and on the outside plus adding some camo to stuff so I'm gonna look into doing that um, depending on what I have left after I pay some bills and stuff out of my tax money I might be buying all new headlights tail lights and third brake light as well as license plate lights um, so if I do buy those I'll probably have a video of me getting all that installed um, I do also want to take it in and get, um, exhaust done on it. I want to get true dual straight pipes on it. Um, I won't be doing that. I'll be taking it to one of the muffler shops here in town, um, called Scotty Muffler. I talked to them last year about, um, how much it would run me to do true dual straights and uh, they quoted me at about 450 bucks so gonna look at getting that done as well on it um, but like I said I won't be doing that myself because I am no exhaust guy whatsoever nor do I really have the equipment or anything to do exhaust so I will not be doing that work myself but it will be getting done um, you know, if it doesn't get done when I get my taxes back, it'll get done eventually in the future. Uh, it, that is something that I want to have done to it. Because at the moment, it's just cut, uh, right after the cat. So, it has some noise to it more than it did when I bought it, uh, with the Flowmaster, uh, Super 40 muffler on it. But, um... I want true dual straight pipes on it because it'll sound a whole lot better um, and then in the future eventually what I would like to do is I'd like to put a cam in it and give it a lope uh, make it sound like an old square body so that'd be kinda cool in my opinion and I also plan on ordering a decal uh, with the trucks name on it to put on the back window uh, so it'll be a sticker saying Black Widow 
uh, as that is the truck's name. So we got this field of soybeans done. We'll move on to them two over there. See if we can't knock them out. So we do have the Dodge and the uh, 7130 sitting here for, uh, I mean, the pickup for when we get done planting our soybeans so that way we can, uh, or our soybeans and our sunflowers, so that way we can have it follow the uh, tractor back to the farm because once the soybeans and sunflowers are in the ground, we will be putting in corn. Uh, that'll be our next crop to go in. So that is um, going to require us to take this back to the farm and uh, oops, wrong one. that will require us taking this tractor and this uh, drill back to the farm so that way we can unhook it, well clean it up, unhook it, put it, unhook it back in the shed. And then we got to dig our corn planter out of our building that we have that in, which shouldn't be too bad. We should just have to move a tractor or two, I think. Um, and while I'm thinking of it, what we're going to do, we need our 886 here because this guy needs to go hook onto our snowblower. Um, this is going to hook onto our snowblower because we are going to take this one to the dealership and trade it in um, on a different one, which you guys will see once this guy gets down there. So we're going to go ahead and we'll throw him on course play and have him run down to the uh, dealership. And then when he gets there, we'll drop this one off and pick up our new one. Um, I need to go left control, bleat, bring this up. So this will go from the farmyard to the shop, drive the course, and then we can go back to our oops, we need the 7150. And we'll get back to planting while we wait for that guy to get down to the dealership. And then we'll uh, go ahead and trade that snowblower in quick. I've been waiting on this snowblower to come out. Um, it's by, I think... Uh, I don't remember who made it now. I'll have to look. I know it's on the store picture. Uh, they have their logo on it. But um, I've been waiting for that one to come out for a little while now. So, uh, it finally came out. I know um, there's a new header that's going to be coming out soon from North Dakota Modding and Mapping. Um, it's a John Deere Draper header with a uh, Crary, I think it's Crary, uh, air reel on it, which is actually the same setup that uh, the farmer I used to work for used. So, So I've been messing with uh, the NVIDIA um, shaders. So you guys may notice a difference in the look of the game between this video and the last one. Um, I've been messing with the settings a little bit. I kind of want to play with them some more and see if I can't get them looking a little bit nicer. Um, I didn't actually know that NVIDIA had a built-in shader system on it until I seen somebody's post on Facebook in one of the groups I'm in um, and they mentioned it um, 
so I decided to play around with it a little bit. Um, he had a screenshot of his settings that he had, so I put it to the settings that he had, um, you know, just to kind of start with. And I don't know if that's why my frame rate's running a little lower. That could be uh, causing me to lose a little bit of frame rate. So if that's the case, then I'm just going to go ahead and put it back to, or just, you know, turn it off and everything. Because um, I don't want frame rate loss whatsoever, if I can help it. In fact, we can actually do it right now. We'll go Alt F3. Oops, my mouse is over here, and we'll click off. So, I mean, you can notice the difference in the quality of it. It's a lot brighter and better looking with that shader on. And it doesn't seem to be making a difference. So let's go ahead, we'll turn that back on to that shader yeah this looks so so much better with uh, this on so so yeah we'll probably just leave this on I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, double upload on uh, Friday. Um, I had to deal with some court stuff on Thursday. And I didn't get uh, Thursday's video edited and scheduled before um, Thursday like I had originally planned to. And so um, ended up not getting to it until actually late. Thursday I believe it was because um, ended up going to the Extreme Bulls uh, in town on Thursday night so um, didn't end up making it or getting it done like I had hoped to so I just uh, put it out at noon on Friday and then put Friday's video at the usual 4 o'clock so Alright, let's go ahead and grab a screenshot here of this, because I haven't taken one of planting soybeans yet, so... So as of now, it's uh, Saturday right now uh, that I'm filming this video on. As of right now, the Millennial Farmer map still isn't out. Hopefully it comes out in the next couple days. Really looking forward to that map. Um, that map is going to be awesome to play on. Um, as far as I know, it's still in testing. I don't know if Giants has given any feedback to Mapper's Pat mappers paradise yet on it um, if there's any errors or anything that they have to fix before giants approves it or anything not too sure um, but hopefully it comes out pretty soon I know there's a lot of people not just myself that are excited for that to come out so um, it's a very impatiently waited on map at the moment
I know I'm getting really, really excited. And for me, it seems to be taking too long for them to get it done. But I mean, I know how much time and work goes into making a map. And then there's, you know, you Giants has to go through. They have to test every single little thing, make sure everything is working. You know, it's the testing is always the most tedious and annoying process in my opinion because you're you got to make sure you check everything all that it's just annoying Um, and I did figure out uh, the guidance steering mod. I was playing around with it on a different save game I've got that I was messing around on, and I figured it out. Figured out what I was doing wrong to where it, you know, wouldn't work or would lag my game like none other. So I got that figured out. I know how to use it now. Um, we may. You know what, let's set it up right here. So we need to go... Oh wait, this tractor doesn't have GPS, I forgot! Oh, I can't use it on this one. Oh, wait a minute. I did not raise it up. Must have on accident. We're gonna go ahead and raise it up and we're just gonna finish this field off before we go over to the other one there isn't too much left on this little guy so Shouldn't be too much longer. We'll hopefully be getting towards closer to harvest. Um, Cause we got, we should be able to get these two fields done in this video for sure. We got one more field of soybeans to plant and then we got the three fields of sunflowers. So we'll, like I said, we'll probably finish up these two cause we're at, we got 10 minutes left so we should be able to finish these two fields in this video or very close to it but if anything if I have to run the video a few minutes longer just to finish this up that's probably what I'll do and then um, tomorrow we'll be able to get that last field of soybeans planted and probably get at least one field of sunflowers done and then get on to the next two fields so Tuesday we should be done planting let's see because this is Sunday's video Monday we should be able to finish up soybeans start on sunflowers Tuesday we can 
probably get sunflowers done. Um, Wednesday will probably be spraying soybean and sunflower ground. Uh, Thursday will probably be planting corn. That may run into Friday. Stop! Uh, Friday will probably be planting corn. So I'm figuring by in about another week or so we should be on to harvest. Try not to get stuck in this mud. All right, so our 886 is down at the dealership. So, what? This? Where is it? Oh. Here. Yep. So we'll go grab him here in a moment. We're just about done with this, so we'll probably just try and finish this field up and then we'll go ahead and swap snow blowers to one that actually looks realistic. Is that one we got? Uh, it's not all that realistic. We are going to have to take care of mowing our uh, grass in our farmyard here pretty soon, too. And uh, along with Actually, it might be more than a week until we get to harvest because I uh, kind of forgot we have haymaking in that that we have to throw into the mix too. So we got to get that done as well in the next couple days. Because once we have the corn in, we'll probably go to, to the first day of summer. We'll probably put up hay on the first day of summer. Um... And then once we're done putting up hay, we'll go to the second day of summer, spray our corn ground and whatnot. Oh, uh, cause let's see. I think um, after I get done making this video, I'm gonna fire up Google Sheets and I'm gonna make a document. Um, like a plan for all the stuff that we gotta get done on here so you know spring day one do this done you know spring day two do this spring day three day four so on so forth you know just kind of make a schedule of what all needs to get done and when it needs to get done um, as far as spring work goes you know, harvest, obviously I'm not going to throw into that schedule because harvest is going to happen whenever harvest happens. You know, as soon as these crops are ready to go, that's when, you know, we're going to be rolling on harvest. So, that one isn't really going to have a set uh, schedule as to when it's going to happen because you never know when it'll be ready to rock, so... I mean, our wheat could be ready the first day of summer, could be ready the third, no clue. Whenever it's ready to roll, that's when we're going to be rolling. Okay, cool, so... Just got this little bit left, and we got our first three fields of soybeans in the ground. and we'll have this one done and then we'll go ahead and we'll get this tractor over to 
our next field and then we'll run over to that 886 and get him um, get that snowblower traded in and get hooked on to our new one so we gotta go over to field 56 that is going to be our next and final field of soybeans which we will work on tomorrow so we got one of our future sunflower fields back there and yeah the uh, plow did a kinda shit job on this field for some odd reason alright so we'll go ahead and kill that guy and then we'll run over to this guy right here go ahead and stop driver Take them off of this course and load up shop to farmyard. I gotta remember, I think the trigger is inside, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's right in this door, so. We're going to go ahead, we're going to spin on in here, drop it right there. And then we'll go over here to the trigger. Alright, sell for... Seven thousand thirty-four dollars, which will actually more than cover our new snowblower. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the shop. We'll go to Misk, which is where this snowblower is, and I believe it's actually right next to this one. Yep. So we got the Normand uh, snowblower by Elite Modding Quebec. That's who made it. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna buy this in a jet black because that just kind of looks a little more fitting. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up for $5,100. Buy. And we'll hop back in our 886 here. And we'll go get hooked on to this guy here. And we'll just kind of take a look at it. Let's go ahead and bring up the menu. Alright, so we got lower, we got pipe out, open cover, and then we got turn on, okay, so, actually sounds pretty good when it's running. Alright, we'll go ahead and get this guy going back to the farm with the new snowblower. This snowblower just looks a whole lot more realistic than that other thing that we had. So, we'll go ahead, get him driving. And we're just going to go back to our 7130, or 7150 I mean. And uh, we're going to call it a video. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll get this field of soybeans planted. And then we'll probably go on over to maybe field 55 or else 49, one of those two. And uh, get started on the sunflowers. And then uh, Tuesday we'll get our sunflowers finished up. 
and uh, move on to the next task. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make up that spreadsheet uh, with the list of everything to get done and uh, when to get it done. So uh, that is going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And make sure you turn on the post notifications if you haven't already. It'll send you a notification every time I upload a video. Check out down below in the description. We've got the PC specs, the upload schedule, all my social medias, plus some links to some other cool YouTube channels down there. So make sure you go and uh, check that out. And as always, you guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.